All right. Good evening, everybody. Let me grab that link for the ladies on Facebook. We are doing ear candy tonight because you can never have too many pairs of earrings. Even if you're not going to wear a necklace or bracelets or rings, a pair of earrings always goes a long way. Makes you look dressed up instead of just uh, plain. <laughs> so we are going to do earrings. You can always use another pair. Everybody needs another pair of earrings. Yeah. The stock, the inventory that I have back. So we'll have a few pairs of those that haven't seen the light of day in a little while. And some others that you're probably more familiar with. I know everybody's getting new outfits right now. It's summertime, so seasons have changed. A lot of people have vacations or conventions or big things coming up this summer. So we're always constantly changing our clothes. So there's always room for another pair of great earrings. Hi, Violet. Hi, Mom. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Let's see. I think I got the... the um, I think I got the, the link out there for everybody. These earrings, of course, that I have on are our newer Blockbuster. You're pausing your convention packing. Well, you never know. You might be short a pair of earrings, Allison. Uh, um, but the, these are the gold glitzy biases that came out. Uh, are out of stock right now, but they will bring back in. So if anybody wants another glitzy by association in gold, just let me know so that I can put you on the waiting list for when they do come back out. Hi, Marlo. Hi, Cam. Hi, Aunt Dora. Great to see everybody. So I'm on my own tonight. Max is not with us because he had a meeting. So I made this easy. Earrings are always fun and easy. Hi, Juanita. Good to see you. And it's something I can do by myself without any problem. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first pair, I just have one pair of these. These are called Eco Express in silver. So you can see they're kind of a scalloped hoop. A brief meaning, um, no, Allison, you should know that that is never the case. They're never brief. So this is about the same size as my Glissy by Association. Thank you, Violet. It's a new one. It just came in the other day. So these are Eco Express. I just have one pair of these. So these are number 110. I'm using different numbers so that I don't, I'm not going over what he did the other day. 110 for that pair of silver hoops. I liked it too. I liked the muted colors. It was available in several colors, but I liked the white with this kind of, um, I guess it's a dark mauve or a burgundy, and then the shades of green. And it has a little bit of a gold too in it, so it's kind of fun. Hi, Ruth. Thank you for sharing. You're going to Rochester, New York. Okay. We are going to Winston-Salem, North Carolina at the end of the month. These are Pebble Palette in blue. So we have our blue crackle pebbles, a cluster of them on the silver fish hooks. There we go. <laughs> this is the length and size. I have three pairs of these. So if you have something blue crackle that you need to match, these pebbles are great. Clusters of pebbles in blue, 111. Three pairs of those. Thanks for sharing, Violet. I always appreciate that. We're getting some new views, so it's helping. They're showing it to new people, so... Every little bit helps. Thanks so much. Um, on the bottom of your thing, when you, where you see your to comment, you see the little reactions next to it with the little hearts and uh, smiley faces and things. Those help me too. Those will actually show up here on my screen. Not just putting the emojis in your comment box, but to hit those little reactions over there. They give me extra points for that, especially if it's not just a thumbs up. All right, this is Catwalk Safari in blue. So these are a wooden pair of earrings in that pretty kind of turquoise aqua blue on the natural wood. 
We have the, the um, animal print. This is the length and size. I have one pair of these left. So these are a fun earring, lightweight, super lightweight wood. These are Catwalk Safari in blue. They're number 112 tonight. It's so fun to match up the outfits. Okay, so since we're all here and we're all obviously jewelry people because we're here, how many of you get to change your emoji thing? It's okay, I'll take the gray hair. Um, how many of you have bought an outfit to match some jewelry that you really loved and didn't have anything to wear with? I just wanna see how many of you there are out there. Stone Sensation in Gold. These are also pebbles. These are polished white pebbles. And then we have the gold beaded chain tassel along with that. And a little, you can see that little hammered gold disc back here. It's trying to hide on a gold fish hook. Marlo's got her hand up. This is the length and size. Mom has her hand up. Hi, Becky. We're taking a poll. How many of you have bought clothes to match jewelry you really loved and you didn't have anything to wear it with. These are stone sensation in gold. I have three pairs of these and number 113. Allison. Hi Robin. Thanks for sharing. I just want to see how many of you are seriously addicted. So you get jewelry you really love. You don't have anything to wear it with. Go to the store and buy something or go on eBay or whatever to buy something to wear it with. Yeah, Becky's got her, <laughs> everybody's got their hands up. I think this is pretty unanimous. Closed circuit sass in multi. So these are a bunch of little circles. These are in silver and in gold. So we've got circles in both colors on here. They're on a silver fish hook back. This is the length and size. Yeah, for your bright stuff, because bright stuff is kind of hard to match. Surprisingly, I have two pairs of these closed circuit sass in multi number 114. Robin, you bought something too. Violet, you bought something. Who knew colors were so hard to match, right? If you're like me in my closet, I have about 15 different shades of tan. None of them match any of the other colors of tan. I don't know how we got so many shades of tan, but none of them go with each other. I'm not quite sure how that works. This is the Gem Fairy in pink. So this is shades of pink. Let's see. Let me show you these. So we have a light pink. We have an iridescent pink. And we have that fuchsia pink. These are in silver hoops. This is the length and size. So just a little tiny bit bigger than my... Glitzy by association. Yeah. Ooh, looky at that. Allison, do you already have a pair of these? I have two pairs. The Gem Fairy in pink is 115. Those were a life of the party thing a couple months back. And I forgot to um, put them in my, on my um, little spinny thing. So I forgot to show them. Violet, there's a necklace that very closely matches those, but there isn't a necklace that was specifically made to go with them. And I think I'm out of the necklaces. You have a lot of blue colors you can't match up. I know, I know. All these shades of things, they're so hard. None of them match. I've got grays that don't match. I've got tans that don't match. You think all these things are neutral until you get them in your closet. And then they don't match. Hi, Jessica. We're doing great. How are you? Glad you joined us. We're doing earrings tonight. Lots and lots of earrings. So these are called Eco Eden in green. We have one pair of these. These remind me of a moonstone, but I don't know that they actually are. But they're kind of a semi-transparent green bead. So hung on double hoops with silver beads as well. This is the length and size. 
So we have Eco, Eden, and Green. I have one pair of these left. Number 116. And I keep spraying hand sanitizer and it makes my nose tickle. I'm not sick. Everybody just know that. I am not sick. <laughs> it's something in the hand sanitizer. I don't know what it is. But every time I spray it on my hands, it makes my nose tickle. Kind of like pepper, when you're using pepper to cook, how it makes you sneeze. This hand sanitizer makes my nose tickle. Drives me crazy. That was my next question, Becky. You got to, to it faster than I did. What area of Alabama, Jessica? These are Welcoming Whimsy. These were an exclusive. They are in a navy blue and gold. Isn't that beautiful? We have the gold flake in the middle with the navy blue and then a very ornate gold frame around the outside. So I did only get one of these since they are an exclusive. This is the length and size. These are called Welcoming Whimsy in blue, and they are number 117 tonight. Love those with the, the um, gold in them. Let's see. Let me pull out some smaller ones, too, because we don't just have large earring lovers here. Oh, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I always spray that hand sanitizer and make my nose itch just in time for the show. And that's because I use it more during the show. I finally figured out that connection. I use the hand sanitizer more during the show than I use it on a regular basis. So um, it always makes my nose itch. itch. Hi, Tammy. We are doing earrings tonight. So we have two pairs of these. These are a smaller post earring. These are called Incredibly Iconic in white. So we have white rhinestones. It has the faceting on the surface. They're kind of in a rectangular shape. The post is up toward the top here. See, so they are going to hang down just a little bit like this. So two pairs of these, Incredibly Iconic in white, and these are number 118. Oh, why? Why did I do that? Okay, go finish packing, Allison, because I can't wait to hear how you liked it. I, everybody has had brave reviews so far. So very, very cool. Convention is always a fun time of the summer. You get to see all our friends. All right, hot-blooded. In brown, 117 to Marlowe, you got it. Hot blooded in brown. So these are kind of that tortoise shell look with the very dark, it's either dark brown or black. It's really, really hard to tell. And then that rusty brown look. This is the length and size. These are an acrylic hoop. So a little bit larger. We have one pair of these. Hot blooded is number 119. Let me write you down, Marlo, since Max is not here tonight. Where'd my paper go? There it is. I would lose my head if it was not attached, because it would probably be here on my desk. I know where everything is on my desk, mostly. I don't send anybody else in here to look on my desk for things, though, because they will never, ever find them. I have very specific little stacks of things. All right, these are called Leafy Laguna in brown. We have brown leather. These are little leaf, leaf cutouts suspended from a silver hoop. Three of these on each one. They're on a silver fish hook back. I have one pair of these left. See if they were a little different color, if they were more that mauve color, they'd match my shirt. These are Leafy Laguna in brown, and they are number 120. And since we're at number 120, we're going to stop oh my goodness, and ask a survey question. I swear I need anti-itch cream on the end of my nose. It can't be the, the rubbing alcohol in it. So I just don't know what it is. 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if you can get this one. Five answers available. We are gonna go with number four for our winning answer. Name something you associate with fingers. Something you associate with fingers. <laughs> fingernails. Fingernails was number four. That was absolutely it. That was number four with Kim. Rings was number five. Tickling. Yeah. Manicure. Those are all good answers. Not on there. Rings and nails were on there. Three other things. Knuckles, not knuckles. What else do you think of when you think of fingers? Wrinkles. Yeah, they are getting kind of wrinkly, aren't they? Writing. Those are also not on there. Typing. No, but there is another activity you do with them. Gloves. Oh, that's good. Oh, the peace sign. Yeah, my daughter used to do that all the time when she was little. I have a picture of her when she's about two years old at a convention playing out in a little, they had a little closed in yard um, where she was out with her brother. We took him out there to play a little bit during lunchtime and she's got a peace sign behind his head. Toes. Toes were number three. Handshake. Oh, close, but not, not on there. Pointing, playing piano, playing guitar. Those are all really good answers. Not the ones we're looking for, though. Something little kids do with our fingers, other than pick their nose. It's not picking your nose. Although they do that. The finger. We call that the Hawaiian good luck sign. Cracking our fingers. Oh, I do that all the time. Snapping. Snapping's a good answer. Not on there. How about what they're attached to? What are they attached to? Something you associate with fingers. Clapping, not clapping. All right, I'm going to give you the last two so we don't stay on there. Hand, hand was number two. Counting, counting on your fingers, how little kids do. One, two, you know, how we teach them to, to put up their fingers to show how old they are. Counting on your fingers. So that was the other one. That was actually number one and nobody guessed it. So who knows who they asked these to? Probably a bunch of men, right? I don't know why this doesn't have a name on it, and I can't for the life of me remember the name right offhand. It's beaded something. Anyway, these are seed bead earrings. They are thin, narrow hoops, forward-facing hoops in a light brown, kind of medium tan color. By the way, I was hearing that um, seed bead stuff has gone up in price because the seed beads, for some reason, have become hard to source. I don't know why that is, but I was just hearing it the other day and I hadn't had any chance to look up the information on it. But these are number 121. I've got one more pair of these, whatever their name is. Never thought I'd see a day. I invoice on Saturday evening, usually, Jessica, for the entire week. So I try to save everybody shipping by combining all your orders from all week. I have three shows a week. So we started with a Sunday show, then we'll have tonight and we'll have Friday night to add to that invoice. If you only have one thing, I hold it over for the next week so that you can add to it and not have to pay shipping for one thing. All right, these are fanciful droplets in green. So we have a green teardrop shaped bead in the center. Kind of a leprechaun green. And then they have little leaf shapes in that filigree around the outside. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and size. So we have fanciful droplets in green. 122. Two pairs of those. 
I'm trying to make sure I get a, a variety of colors in here, but if any of you have a specific color that you are looking for, let me know because I can pull some more off of here. Otherwise I might not hit your color tonight. I don't even want to tell you how many pairs of earrings I have. It's over a thousand different pairs of earrings. So just so you know, if you want a specific color or style, let me know. This is Major Flex in copper. This is one of our exclusives that we just got in. So I did only get one pair. They are a square hoop in the antique copper. This is the length and size. I kind of like these myself. These are Major Flex in copper. 123, just one pair of those. Yellow smaller earrings. Let me see what I've got over here, Robin. I don't know if I have any that are yellow that are small enough for you, but we can try. I have one smaller yellow pair. These are called Delectably Daisy in yellow. So we have an oval bead center and silver petals fanning out from there. The bigger, the better for you, Jessica. Do you have a specific style you like? Do you like hoops better? Do you like uh, fish hook better? This is the length. I do have two pairs of these. So one is Robin's. Oh, my nose is still tickling. This is, let me see. This is number 124, Delectably Daisy in yellow. So I have one more pair of those. Robin is 124. I do have some vintage as well. So let's see. Let me see what else I've got. One twenty four to Aunt Dora as well, otherwise known as Isabel. That is her alter ego online. <laughs> hoops or fish hooks? Okay. See, I always ask that because I love hoops. Hoops is always going to be my first choice. I'll wear fish hooks. I actually wear a lot of fish hooks, but hoops are always my first choice. So usually some, usually you have something you love. I have one pair of these. These are called Holographic Glamour in multi. You can see these are holographic or iridescent, transparent. Um, I guess we're going to call these elongated ovals because that's what shape they are. Kind of look feathery coming down from the fish hook. I just have one pair of these. They're on a silver fish hook. The thing I love about iridescent is you can wear it with just about any color because it has all the colors in it. So holographic glamour is 125 in multi. Just one pair of those. Those are kind of fun. Let's see. Number 126. 126 is cosmic paradise in brown. And I also have one pair of these in black. So this is a dark espresso brown circular shape with star cutouts inside. This is the very lightweight wood. This is the length and size. So we have Cosmic Paradise in brown or in black if you prefer. This is number 126. I wish my nose would stop tickling. <laughs> Anybody know a trick to make it stop tickling? I really don't know what it is in this hand sanitizer. It's like literally liquid hand sanitizer. So I don't even know what they could have added to it. That makes my nose tickle so much. Drives me nuts. <laughs> you know how it is when you're sitting somewhere and you literally can't itch your nose, scratch your nose because it tickles so much. That's how I feel. Inhale lavender. I'll have to try that. I don't have it out here at my desk, but I will get some. This is Home Tweet Home in pink. So these are also wooden earrings with bird and flower cutouts on the bottom. So an oval cutout at the top. I have two pairs of these left. This is the length and size. So a nice bright pink in a bigger style. These are Home Tweet Home in pink and it is number 127. Buy another hand sanitizer. This is actually the second one I've tried. 
and they've both done the same thing. And the other one was like the gel. So I decided to try the um, liquid and see if it would be any better. And it's not. I don't know what's going on. No idea. But it's got to be something in it. Use a tissue instead of your hand if you suspect. Oh, so you mean rubbing the sanitizer on my nose might be making it worse. That is a good thought. Thank you, Tammy. I didn't connect that because I do think the sanitizer is the issue because I don't have that unless I use the hand sanitizer. That's a great idea. All right. This is high maintenance in pink. So marquee shapes. The outside is studded with these dark pink rhinestones. Inside is a textured silver. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and size. But you're right. I'm probably putting hand sanitizer right back on my nose and making it tickle more. This is high maintenance in pink. Two pairs. Number 128. Let's see. I did have some tissues up here. I don't know what I did with them. Hey, Spencer, will you go get me some tissue from the bathroom, please? Just a little bit. Oh, never mind. I found my Kleenex. I knew I had some. Maybe use peroxide instead of sanitizer. That's a good idea, too. I just need to be able to sanitize my hands while I'm touching all the jewelry. But I'm going to try the using a cloth or a Kleenex instead and see if that helps. All right. Since you said the bigger, the better, I take that as a challenge, Jessica, because I have a pair of huge hoops here. Up closer. What do you want, Jessica? What um, are you on an iPad? Or are you on a phone? You may be able to, thank you, Sveti. You may be able to um, zoom the picture in a little bit. There, now I'm rubbing my, my nose with my hands again. Look at that. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Let me see if I can scoop my, um, my camera in closer. It can only come in so close, but that's a little bit better phone you just scrolled up okay is that better I got a little bit closer for you that's about as close as I can get it because there's a keyboard and everything all right these are colossal couture in silver so these are a huge silver hoop for my very large hoop lovers this is the length and size this is my last pair I did almost sell out of these so colossal couture in silver, you love these. My granddaughter Spencer loves these. 129 for those. That is my last pair of those. <coughs> it's okay. All right. And let's get one more in there and then we'll do another survey question. You have two pairs of those? <laughs> yeah, I like those too. They're a little bit bigger than what I normally wear. I wear big hoops, but I don't wear them quite that big. I do like those. All right, next up is a pair of heart earrings. These are called Bewitched Kiss in multi. And it's multi because you've got several shades of pink. Oh, Spencer's saying hi. Several shades of pink in the rhinestones on the edge of these. So large silver hearts with the pink rhinestones. These are going to be backwards on me because my face won't go in the middle of them. So normally you'd have the rhinestones on this outside edge. Although you don't have to wear them that way. Wear them either way you want. But Bewitched Kiss in Multi. I have three pairs of those. They're number 130. All right. Let's go ahead and do another survey question. You know the girls always have to um, video video bomb I have hiccups now video bomb if they can hi terry how you doing all right let 
me find a good question. All right, so we're going to go for the most popular answers. Remember, other people answer these questions, so it's not about your personal preferences. Just saying. There are six answers to this question, and we are going to go with number three. Name a flavor of pudding. A flavor of pudding. So you're probably going to want to go with the ones you think are the most popular flavors. Banana. I was surprised so many people guessed banana. That was four. That was number four. Lemon was number six. Chocolate, of course, number one. Hi, Kelly. Butterscotch. I love butterscotch pudding. So many people don't. It's number five. Lemon. Lemon was number six. Let's see. Pistachio did not make the list. Vanilla was number two. So we had chocolate. Then we had vanilla. We also have banana, butterscotch, and lemon. Tapioca is the winner, Becky. I wondered if anybody was going to guess that. Now, how many people like tapioca pudding? Personally, I love it, but it's just, that's my thing. I like it. People don't like the texture of it, I guess. I love tapioca. And you know what I like even better is what I bring it in the house, I don't have to share it because nobody else likes it. You like it, Robin? I do too. I like tapioca and I like butterscotch. Those are actually two of my favorites. And those are the ones that the people in my house don't necessarily care for. Now, Daniel will eat butterscotch pudding. He does like butterscotch, but um, not the tapioca. Nobody eats it but me. You know, it has that, uh, the fish egg kind of texture. They don't like that. <laughs> and I don't like caviar. Caviar is disgusting. I've had it and it's just, it's salty and it's nasty. But um, I do like tapioca. <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes, right? All right. I like things I don't have to share. I've got too many kids. It's always fun not to have to share. Yeah, the bubble drinks, the bubble drinks just have big tapioca pearls in it. You're Southern, you put vanilla wafers on banana and you have a nice pudding. Now, see, I did a, um, I did a thing on my f um, Facebook and Instagram pages about that a little while ago and asked about how people prefer banana pudding. The way I grew up with it was cooked. You cooked the like vanilla custard in the pot on the stove and then you put meringue on top of it and put it in the oven and brown it. So that's the way I've had it. I don't care for the instant kind with the whipped cream. It's okay, but it's not the same. All right. One pair of these. I have Eden Radiance. These are iridescent leather earrings. You can see they have a texture on them. Kind of a leaf shape. This is the length and size. Again, the iridescent's great because it matches everything. So silver underneath, iridescent over the top. Eden Radiance, last pair, number 131. Let's see if I can reach down there to put that away. Ugh. So the recipe that I used was the one that was on the Nilla wafer box. And I don't know if it still is. I think it is. But that is the recipe that I've used. You have those too, Jessica? They are a nice earring. Had those for a little while. These are Southwest Walkabout. Yeah, a big leaf. There you go. They just didn't have the iridescent kind, right, Terry? Southwest Walkabout in orange. So we have a bright orange bead in oval inside a Southwestern pattern in silver. This is the length and size. So if you need a bright orange, this is a good pair. We have two pairs of these available. Southwest Walkabout is number 132. I have every color of the rainbow, Kim. <laughs> and then some. 
done some. They may have made some up just for me. Pretty sure they did. I'm always creating new colors. 132 to Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. Gotcha. Smaller orange. Okay, I'll look and see if I've got a smaller orange. These are a macrame rainbow. These are in an orange, and I call it like a peachy pink. That's what it looks like to me. The colors on my screen are just slightly off, just so you know. They look a little bit brighter than they actually are in person. This is the length and size. I have one pair of these left. These are macrame rainbow in orange, and they're number 132. Oh, that. I'm not sure if the, the, the fibers from the Kleenex might be making it worse, too. I think somebody's just out to get me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to decide, okay? Somebody's out to get me. Ugh. And I have such bad allergies, and they, they've been worse the last little bit. This is ethereally extravagant in blue. We have three pairs of these. So we have a blue bead. It has that little bit of an iridescent wash on it. So a little blue bead at the top, blue bead in the center, and then the chain, loops of chain coming down from the bottom. This is the length and size. So we have ethereally extravagant. In blue, we have three pairs of these. These are number 138. Let's see. Let's see. Smaller orange. I don't think I have any super small orange, um, Robin. Oh, my nose tickles so much. <sighs> it's one of those days. All right. Mojave Mogul in orange. So we've got the orange crackle stone in the center. Halo of white rhinestones around the outside. This is the length and size. I have one pair. One pair of these. So Mojave Mogul. In orange. These are going to be number 133. 133. And I'm missing another hook. Give me another hook. All my hooks keep coming off my board. There we go. Got to keep them straight. Oh. That is going to drive me nuts. Okay, and we have beautiful bright yellow. These are called Pinwheel Prairies in yellow. So we have the yellow crackle stone bead in the center, super shiny polished silver around the outside in a pinwheel shape. I have two pairs of these. This is the length and the size. I do also have them in the blue crackle stone, that turquoisey looking blue crackle stone. So these are Pinwheel Prairies in yellow. They're number 134. Let's see. Number 135. Classic Keepsake in copper. So these are an antique copper, oh antique copper with coppery rhinestones in them. There we go. A little bit of hammering. So you've got the dark areas in there. These are an oval shape. This is the length and size. Classic keepsake. 
in copper. I have three pairs of these. These are number 136. 136. One thirty-seven. We're down to our last pair of these. These are Orchard Bliss in yellow, so pretty yellow on the bottom, sunshiny yellow, filigree around the middle. I also have these in a green that's like a key lime pie green. This is the length and size. So Orchard Bliss in yellow. Oops, almost dropped that number. 137, last pair of these. Okay. 138. Hanging by a thread in brown. So these are a rusty brown. And this is why I can't wear these because I would sit and do this like constantly. Mess with the threads. So these are also a thread earring in that rusty brown. This is the length and size. So we have hanging by a thread in brown, 139. I would have to groom these all the time. Where'd 138 go? I guess I didn't have number 138. Must not have been in my deck. It's not the strangest thing that's ever happened. Sadly. Let's see. Oh, I know. I've got a pair of hoops hiding back here that I haven't shown in a while. These are in brass. These are called Freely Freebird in brass. So triple hoop. Have little beads, wooden beads on them, as well as feathers. This is the length and size. I do just have one pair of these. So Freely Freebird in brass is number 140. All right, let's ask a question and I'll do five more pairs of earrings and then we will be done for the day. Don't forget forget you, that you're racking up points toward the drawing that we have on Sunday for your weekly prize. So shares, comments, um, comments on the social media pages, Instagram and Facebook. I'm trying to remember what else. I have a whole list of things, but you earn, earn points for those as well as for getting these survey questions, for winning the survey questions. So all that is contributing toward that drawing on Sunday. All right. This one has four answers, and it's kind of a fun question. Four answers. Um, let's go with number four, because that's the one that I would want. <laughs> if you got access to a police car, what's the first thing you'd want to do? you got access to a police car, what is the first thing you would want to do? Hang on, my comments went away. I'm trying to make them come back. Come back, comments. There they are. Leah, turn the sirens on. That was number three. The siren was number three. Scare your exes. That would be fun. Lights. Lights were number two. Cry. Why are you going to cry if you get access to a police car? Juanita's going to take a picture with her in it. <laughs> Speed. Speed was number one. Radio in. Step on the gas pedal. Handcuff someone. You got to do something before you handcuff someone or arrest them. Got to do something first. If 
use the radio. I'm not gonna use the radio. Give out tickets. Tickets are fun, right? I would love to give out tickets. I told Max in another lifetime I could have done this job. Kim, pull people over was exactly the right answer. Gotta pull those people over. Even just for the fun of it. I would not be a police officer very long because they'd probably take my badge from me. But, you know, it'd be fun while it lasted. Oh, yep, definitely that hand sanitizer. I don't know what I'm going to do. This summer's going to be rough. That's all I've got to say. All right. Next up, we have Mandela Effect in orange. So this is a washed orange over the silver. So there's just a hint of orange on these. We have some hearts and some little scroll type design. Let's see if I can hold still long enough for it to focus. There we go. The flower in the middle. Hi, Trisha. This is the length and size. So we have Mandela Effect in orange. Two of these are available. This is number 141. 141. All right, I'm trying to see. Let's see what else I've got here. Got so much. That's the problem. Got too much. Should be a problem, right? Too many earrings. This is Mantra to Mantra in silver. So they have a gray bead in the center of that top. And kind of a tribal design with the little trinkets hanging off the bottom. These are on a silver fish hook. This is called Mantra to Mantra in silver. And I just have one pair of these. This is number 142. 142. See. Number 143. These are Bohemian Beach Blast. This is in yellow, turquoise, and green seed beads around the outside of this forward facing hoop. And then we have little hammered discs along the bottom, textured discs. This is the length and size. I have two pairs of these. Bohemian Beach Bash is number 143. 143. Mom, you want 142? Those are yours. Forty-two, Mom. All right. I'm sorry. My nose tickles so badly. It's so hard to ignore it. It's like right there. All right. These are going to be 144. This is Riverbed Refuge in blue. So we have the blue crackle stone at the top and dot motif in an oval at the bottom. This is the length and size. We have Riverbed Refuge. Two pairs of these available, number 144. Last but not least, I know, aren't they pretty colors? I have so many in that color. And then we have, last but not least, 145, Mediterranean Myth in orange. So kind of a peachy orange. A light peachy orange. A little bit of an abstract shape. So it's not a perfect shape. On a silver fish hook back. This is the length and the size. So we have Mediterranean Myth. Two of these available. Number 145. 
All right, so that is all for tonight. Website is running across the bottom of your screen if you're on um, YouTube or Facebook. Please feel free to shop the website anytime. It's open 24 seven. It sleeps when I don't, or no, I sleep when it doesn't. <laughs> Hi, Yvonne, thanks for stopping in. It's www.puttinontheglitz.biz, P-U-T-T-I-N, ontheglitz.biz. So I have most of my inventory on there, not quite all of it, still still catching up with uh, stuff that was came before the website. So we are still catching up with that. We should have new stuff in by Friday. I got the notice that it has shipped. I know the holiday kind of messed things up with the shipping times, but we should have new things in by Friday. So we'll have those new things to show you Friday if they come in. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll find another theme. I'm sure I have something else to show you back here. <laughs> so we'll see you all back Friday night at seven o'clock. Please join us again. And thank you so much for your support tonight. You have a good rest of the week. <laughs>